Okay, hello my beautiful audience over there. Today I have a book review for you, A Guide to Rational Living. A self-help book and this book is by a therapist and it's related to the Cognitive Behavior Therapy and Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, REBT. So a specific form of therapy. And it's a kind of book where he goes very deep into explaining uh, neurosis and how neurosis kind of works. And he simplifies it to the uh, plain level that neurosis is any be behavior that has to be insisted on being the way that it is. Or any kind of environmental factor that has to be the way that it is, you know, that there's no negotiating this ever, you know, and that's neurosis. So you could say that it's kind of an inflexibility of the mind, but it's also a kind of holding on. So when a therapist kind of works with somebody, uh, he has to understand that this is kind of uh, bodily, but at the same time, it's kind of mental. At the same time, it's kind of, you know, like intellectual, you know? So there's so many kind of levels to it that, uh, well, it's very deep, you know, the territory over here is very deep that he goes into. And he talks about a couple of cases or his patients over here and, uh, how in so many different situations in the end you can see the same kind of pattern that this person like has to kind of insist on being in this kind of a relationship otherwise you know his life will crumble you know or this person has to insist you know on continuing abusing this substance otherwise he, his life will crumble you know like like the insistence that it has to be this way you know and that is deemed over here like neurotic uh, I would say that well it's of course uh, you could explain it through also kind of habits you know that uh, some brains might kind of resist change more uh, due to their due to for example like old age you know you kind of hear many times and see many times that older people are more uh, kind of rigid, you know, in their ways. You know, they just can't change anything. They just keep living the same patterns. But I, I, feel, I feel that uh, it's actually also caused by the outside influences, that it's not natural uh, old age that it also comes from all the fear-based, you know, brainwashing that goes on in the media and that kind of stuff. Uh, that uh, fear kind of emotions and the, like all kinds of frequencies that, you know, you are consuming. If they are kind of fear-based, you know, they make you unable to change uh, because your brain gets in lo lockdown, you know, so to say. You know, do you understand? that it's not natural, you know. So he kind of, he kind of lays, out, lays out a very clear picture that change is possible, you know. And this is a self-therapy book, uh, I believe, like, really, it's about, it's about helping yourself. <laughs> it reads over here, psychology self-help. So uh, it might be kind of beneficial if you uh, are dealing with some relationship problems, but there are books that deal with that stuff, you know, on their own. And I, I believe that they make you much less kind of cultural and kind of less brainwashed about what relationships are really all about. And you learn to be more cool, so to say. And I have, uh, I, at least I, when I became older, you know, I have become the kind of a person that I like talking to people and I like talking to a lot of people, but I don't like getting too involved and I don't like uh, getting attached 
to people, you know. Uh, that's not just my style, you know. So I kind of, I kind of keep my distance, you know. And I don't, I don't want to kind of get mixed up in other people's lives, you know, uh, because uh, it's just, it's just kind of, it's just, it's just my way, you know. I, just, I feel that there's more to be gained when you like meet new people all the time, you know. And also that's that, like like what I what I read in most of these books is just that the people don't do this very often. Like of course there are those people that they live exactly like me and that's fine. But but there are those people that are too like in like too invested you know in this one relationship or too invested in this to work and it doesn't. So maybe I should kind of also become. Okay, like this is this is a really deep insight. I don't know what what it is about like psychologists, but when you kind of deal with them, you know, you go in one direction and then all of a sudden everything changes, you know. If you you would like kind of divide your life into this like from from here, and then you think that in my relationships, you know, have become you know more expanding and I don't kind of insist on this one thing like working and in my kind of professional life or in my like pursuit so to say what I do in life it hasn't worked it hasn't like worked that way at all like it's I'm still the way that this one thing has to be like this one thing has to be the thing that I do but I feel that I have changed in both of the realms but I feel that is change possible in only one of those realms, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. So, that's it. A guide to rational living. Hope you liked it.